Day that I know playing right now. All right, so good came. Oh, well played. Already called by Kuzit. It's probably not the best thing. They're already giving up. So let's introduce our teams. We've got the San German Reze Rejects versus Kuzit. Piff underscore twenty four going to be on the Magnus. Uh, Werder is going to be on the Bane. Nada on the Ursa. They're already looking at that Yola Meister on the Doom. Mr. Simple's probably going to get the Bounty Rune on the Wind Ranger. It's going to be it's going to be double Bounty Runes for the Radiant. So if I tried to put a little bit of a hurt onto Magnus, Magnus though already has the boost, so he's moving pretty fast. And Bounty Hunter going to be played, but I'm just like so messed up right now. I'm going to say screw it on introducing the teams. Screw it. We'll just do it live. One of the heroes disconnected for Kuzit. So they won't have entered this match uh, just yet. So we'll just hop right into it. Era Era already getting smacked around by the Magnus, who uh, skewers him back into tower range. Takes a little bit of harass there. And uh, Piff already taking some damage here from the Bounty Hunter. He's going to turn around and do some damage back. But the Magnus doesn't have the Shockwave just yet, so he's not really going to be able to do too much to this Bounty Hunter just yet. Doom benefiting from this hard camp that they put into the map with 6.86. So the offing gets a little bit easier for him. Especially with being able to eat those creeps. High value for him. Um, so Magnus uses the shockwaves for some for some gold. We'll see how this match goes. Um, obviously, the rating will have the advantage with being a player hero, being a hero up. I think after this match, I'm going to go get a drink. I'm starting to feel like I need a drink. Kappa. Um, Ursa with already an early lead on the bottom lane, to be expected. An interesting thing about Ursa, though, is he doesn't have as much early game damage, which is which makes sense because of his Fury Swipes. So you kind of need to push the lane if you want to ensure that you get these creep kills. Because you need to hit them once in order to get a little bit more damage. Yola Meister a little bit far up. Um, our friend comes back for a second. He's going to disconnect once again. And now Magnus misses a skewer onto the gyrocopter on the mid lane. And that's going to end the assassinated attempt right there. He does have a haste rune though. So he doesn't lose too much time going back to the top lane. Here comes a rocket barrage from the gyrocopter. Wind Ranger turns right around though. Not too scared. Going to put the rest back onto Donamir. And Mr. Simple though has taken a lot of damage from the flat cannon of the gyrocopter. Another rocket barrage used by the gyrocopter. doesn't really hit anything other than creeps all right so uh we've got an orsa against a doom here orsa level three but he's only taking one skill point into the fury swipes i guess he's trying to wait for the opportunity onto the doom who does need to be careful um the bane with the nightmare can easily take care of a doom um but i would like i would probably want to see ursa level up the earth shock to slow up the doom give him a little bit more damage here in addition the pudge will make it extremely easy for the doom to go down, which I'm a little bit surprised hasn't happened yet. Ursa has the phase boots and an orb of venom, so 
if I had to guess, Doom would be the first blood. Here comes the Nightmare. Nightmare comes through. Ursa leveling things up with fury. And now he goes right onto Yellow Meister. Yellow Meister slowed down. Going to get brain sapped. And Ursa just going to get out? What? He took too much tower damage, I guess. But still, that's not making sense. It wasn't the best Nightmare, to be fair. But come on, Ursa. In addition, I think he might have skilled a little bit wrong. He put a little bit too much into the Earthshock. He put two points into it. I probably would have liked to see more Fury swipes. Because he definitely could have used them there. Denied! So, no first blood yet in this game. And they're kind of leaving Doom, surprisingly. Alone a bit more on that bottom lane. The <laughs> Doom feeds Ursa some skeletons. Not sure why you would do that. And there's no first blood just yet in this match. Wind Ranger off the mark with the shock shot. Not going to get the kill there onto the creep. In the end, she does. Sorry if I seem like I'm flaming a little bit. But, um... I don't know. I just... Okay, the Rubik gets in the match finally. So, the Rubik level 1 does need to be careful. Uh, there is a Pudge and a Magnus on the top lane. And the Pudge can easily take out the Rubik. Even if the Rubik were in this match the whole time. So, the Gyrocopter going to range over to the rune. Going to find it. Magnus has a Skewer. doesn't really matter. The double damage rune gets popped by the Gyrocopter. Going to hit the Bounty rune. The Bounty Hunter, rather. And now the call down comes through. Piff goes down first blood to the gyrocopter he seems pretty happy about it and now the wind ranger up against the doom uses a focus fire and the shackle shot not available for another couple of seconds shackle shot not there just yet and now the wind ranger she's got to run away uses the shackle shot on the gyrocopter but it doesn't hit for that long does allow the gyrocopter to get out though same with the wind ranger and also the puds went down on the top lane Slark pretty low skewer comes through Hits the Rubik, and do they want to go in on this? Be brave, Magnus. Be brave. You had a... Oh, he had the shockwave. Doesn't matter. Now here comes the Pudge. He has a hook. Could go in on the Rubik. Rubik trying to dodge. Rubik trying to dodge. Will he be able to do it? Rod comes through. Hook. Pudge gets a kill. All right, so Pudge got a kill on that top lane, but the Magnus went down. Hey, if you can feed on a Rubik the whole match, I guess you got something, right? On the backside, Bounty Hunter looking for the jump onto the Ursa. Two levels into the Shuri Toss right now. Doom has level 5. No stun just yet. Ursa wanting to turn around. Could go in on the Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter has the Invis available and he pops it. He'll just take a love tap by the Ursa Bear and he'll get out of there. Slark did get the level 6 and now will go into the jungle a little bit. Give the Rubik some levels. Nice guys, Slark. But the Rubik does have to be careful. Rubik, though, is up to level 4. Helped a little bit by the Magnus dying on the top lane. And now, Gyrocopter could be in trouble. Oh, nice hook on the Bounty Hunter. There comes the smoke. Gonna hit. And that Mr. Simple trying to get out. There's a shackle shot. Donamir cup there for a second. Now Giotto. He doesn't have enough mana for the hook. Could use a mango. Decides not to. And now Doom. He's going to go right into the trees. He doesn't care. He goes right onto Giotto. Giotto going to deny himself. Now there's a Doom onto Mr. Simple. RP on Doom. Doom under the tower. Got hit by the RP. And now Mr. Piff doesn't have enough mana for the shockwave just yet. Piff getting pretty low. Same with the gyrocopter though. Hook! Hits him! Um, Yo, Muster comes back in the fight. Now the Rot takes a lot of damage from that Rocket Barrage. And the Shuri Toss will take out the Pudge. So that's two for one on the mid lane. Uh, interesting little set of plays there. The Ursa takes out the Tier 1 Tower on the bot lane. While that's all happening. And the Slark going to be doing damage to the top Tier 1. I kind of like that... Pudge is sort of back into the meta a little bit. Leviathan was um, utilizing it quite a bit at WCA. 
and I think a lot of the lower teams are kind of adopting that, especially in the Americas. Pudge definitely seeing a lot more playing time, especially in some of the lower level matches. Rubik takes out the top tier one tower, and right now he's pretty much recovered. He's back up to level five, so I would say he's on par with all the supports, yeah. So Rubik right back into this match with a little bit of help from his team. And well, Doom at level 6 has some phase boots and he's going for the bracer, so I guess we'll be seeing the drums of endurance come out of him. And Gyrocopter's just getting the farm on in the mid lane. He's going to let the Slark get the invis rune. Slark bottles it up. He's going to be regenerating some health. Pudge gets a hooked on the Rubik. Rubik lifts up the Pudge, but Rubik is fairly low. Going to get hit with that rot. And uh, the... The Nightmare keeps Rubik alive for just a second, but it doesn't really matter. Slark looking for the opening here. Not getting help just yet. The Gyrocopter, he lays down the call down. Piff, he takes damage. Piff, uses the Shockwave, but he's going to go down. Slark, gain the kills. Shadow trying to get out, Shadow trying to get out. He doesn't double kill for the Slark, and that's three down on the top lane. So the Rubik does go down, but in the end, big advantage going to Kuzit. Um... And now here comes the Doom onto the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger trying to get away, gonna hit, get hit by the Bounty Hunter, hit by the Shuri Toss, Mr. Simple. You are in trouble. Goes down in the end to the Bounty Hunter. Doom and some Bounty hold Gold going to Kuzit as the old Meister. He tries to get out. Brain Sap comes through, takes the Doom pretty low, but it doesn't really matter. He's still alive. And right now, Kuzit showing they can definitely use that extra player pretty well. <laughs> The Ursa 1700 gold has a Morbid Master. He has enough for a Vlad's if he chooses to get her. The Rubik steals the Earth Shock from the Ursa Bear. We'll see if he's able to use that at all. Nice Fade Bolt comes out from the Rubik. Rubik being a little bit of a nuisance. We'll see if Ursa skips the Vlad's and goes for the Blink Dagger, though. I like that build a little bit more. Just go straight Morbid Mask Blink. But again, we'll see. He also has the Ring of Aquila. So maybe he doesn't need the mana from the Vlad so much. And they're starting to look towards that Roshan. Bounty Hunter. Walking around the map. Just doing Bounty Hunter things. And now Ursa. He goes into the Roshan pit. Will the Bounty Hunter spot him out? There isn't a sentry word here just yet. We'll see if it gets put down. There's the bounty. There's the sentry word. So the bounty hunter could be in trouble. Hook comes in for the punch. Bounty hunter about to go down. He's trying to get out. Oh, he's going to get brain sapped by the bane. Now here comes the call down. Jado in trouble. Doing the dismember, which heals the Jado back up. And now the Ursa Bear. He's still in the Roshan pit. He could get the Aegis. But the rest of his team going down outside the pit. Mr. Simple in a lot of trouble. Ursa takes the Rosh. Gets the Aegis. Trying to TP out. He's going to get... Not lifted! Okay. Lift was down for a couple seconds, so the Rubik wasn't able to use it. In the end, Aegis gets popped, and two heroes go down. So, you know what? The uh, German re rejects doing a little bit better in this match. At least they got the Aegis behind them, right? And the Ursa also skipped the Vlads and went for the Blink Dagger. So, well done by him. I like it. I like it. I'm not Mikey, but he might like it too. That's an old reference. I don't even think I was alive when that was made. Rubik steals up the Shackle Shot and the... No, he steals up the Power Shot. So many shots by the Wind Ranger. Bounty Runner puts a... Deep Observer Word. And Empowered Ursa. That's one thing we haven't seen from Secret at all. Empowered Ursa. Now Team Secret go for the Empowered Ember Spirit or uh, Anti-Mage. So Ursa Bear goes for the Ancients. Blinks forward. Going for the Rune. Bounty Hunter gets a little bit scared. They're going to leave the Bounty Rune for the 
For the Magnus, in the end, Swart gonna go down to the Pudge. Okay. And Ursa has a blink. Blink! And puts the damage onto the Doom. Doom trying to get out. Pudge hooks the Ursa. Ursa gets a kill. Now here comes the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter has the Cawdon available. Kuzit, do they want to go in on this? Piff gonna get hit up. And now the tracks are coming out from the Bounty Hunter. So the longer you leave this guy up and you try to do these fights, the longer the, uh, or the more um, tracks are going to come out from the Bounty Hunter. Not even going to get hit by that dust from the Pudge there. So here comes another track for his troubles. Magnus doesn't have the blink just yet. And now on the backside, um, Fiend's Grip gets used on the Illusion. All right. Call down on three. McWhirter takes a lot of damage. Nightmare onto the Gyrocopter. Wind Ranger goes down to the to the Slark. Slark takes another kill. And now big, mean Orsa Bear. Orsa Bear trying to do some damage on the backside. Bounty Hunter takes a kill onto the Pudge. And now Orsa. Orsa trying to run away. RP on three. Here comes the Skewer. Magnus in trouble. Gets hit by a Fade Bolt. He's going to go down. The Ursa did get away. He still has an Aegis. And he's going to go into the trees. He's not going to go into the trees. He's going to blink out. Oh, man. He was so close to being in trouble there. And they will have the Aegis for another fight here if they want it. In the end, though, top tier 2 tower gets battered bruised and wrecked nada getting forward picked up by the rubik rubik carrying this team to victory literally but yolemeister he goes down the age is going to get popped nightmare onto the rubik hook in onto the wind ranger and now that there's the rubik rp on three rubik is another fun here to cast and nada he's going pretty low will get hit by the slark double kill for the slark now mr simple he's gonna turn on rocket barrage hitting will mr simple go down not just yet he does in the end dominating streak for gyrocopter and that's a four for one on the top lane rubik <laughs> he's just doing so much also has the focus fire doesn't do too much damage but he did have a nice three man rp Stolen RP in the last fight, so props to him. Sark so taking a lot of damage underneath the tier 1 tower. Pudge comes in with a hook on the creep. Nice farming tool right there. Rubik has a blink dagger. So this Rubik starts the game being disconnected for about five minutes comes in gets level to level six and now he's at level nine with a blink dagger that's some pretty pretty solid play right there i'm gonna just follow, follow this slark around as he slarks his way around the jungle has a shadow blade Let's take a. We haven't really done too well at keeping up with the items, so Wind Ranger's going for the Maelstrom. Jado has the Aether Lens already, so that's a pretty good start. Now, uh, the Magnus. He's getting close to his Blink Dagger, he still has a lot of work to do. And there are two drums for the Dire a Gyrocopter and Doom both have them. And the Bounty Hunter has a mech. Alright. So Wind Ranger's also. I think we said it, but she's getting fairly close to that maelstrom. Yeah. Slark sets his sight on the Ursa. And Ursa, gonna get leashed up. He's going to use the ultimate, trying to TP away, but this is what he, is this what he wanted to do? Fiend's Grip gonna get used on the Slark. Slark won't go down. And now McWhirter, he's just gonna get stunned up by the Doom. Oh, but Slark, is that really what you wanted to do? He's going to get that Nightmare taken off him. Two down on the bottom lane for the German Rejects. And the, the Slark, he's fine. He's going to get mech'd up. And the Gyrocopter, at the same time, is going to take out that mid tower. Evading pretty much everybody that's around the mid lane for the Radiant. Two towers go down in favor of Kuzit. And the uh, Slark just Slark's his way forward again. The push continues on the bottom lane. 
as this Lark pretty stacked right now. He's got a Yasha and 13 stacks on the Essence Shift, so just able to do a ton of damage to the, any tower and creeps around. And Roshan respawning in about a eh, minute 20. Well, we'll get to a respawn timer in about a minute 20. Hook, gonna miss from the Pudge. And the Dire, they're just gonna continue. Ursa, blinking, slows him up, runs away. And now the Pudge. He's tracked up, looks for the hook, gonna miss. And the smoke comes out from the Dire. Fake back, possibly. And the Slark uses a Shadow Blade. They're gonna go over to the mid lane. The Pudge could get caught out here. They're under the tower, though. Do they want to do anything? Slark's Shadow Blade is gonna get running, going to run out, so he could still bait here. Will he do it? The Dire getting a little bit forward. Smoke gonna pop. Okay, so Bane on the high ground. Bane's in trouble. Bane puts a nightmare out. Ursa comes through with the ultimate. He's going to get leashed up though, and the cooldown on a bunch. Going to end up taking out the Ursa. Piff getting pretty low. Focus fire though. Look at that Maelstrom. It's doing a little bit, but it's on the Doom. It doesn't really matter so much there. Another Wind Ranger eventually going to go down to the Slark. The <laughs> goes down to the Slark, and Rubik in the middle of two gets brain sapped up. Hook going to come through by the punch. Rubik getting pretty low. And will eventually go down. Pudge gets the Rubik, and it's a five-man team wipe for Kuza. They do lose the Rubik, but it still forces a buyback on the Pudge. And there's a big gold lead going their way in terms of XP and gold. 10,000 for Kuza for XP, and gold uh, 20,000 for Kuza. Kuza putting a little bit, a bit of fuel on the fire. Pudge gets a pretty sick deny. And, uh, well, a little bit of salt there. So, I guess that's kind of what happens when you don't let them pause. But I don't really think it mattered. I think German rejects needed every single bit of advantage they could get. The Roshan has respawned fairly quickly. So, the Dyer can get right back on that. Roshan now hangs in the balance. And it will soon get taken out by Kuzit. And the Roshan not long for this world as he will go down in the end. No outer towers remaining for the Radiant. And the Age is going to get picked up by the Sark who drops his bottle for it. Rip the bottle. Gonna get picked up by the Doom. Bounty Hunter also has the Solar Crest. Nice item for him. Gonna help the heroes get taken out even faster. So there's a the smoke from the Radiant coming around from the backside. They could catch out the Dire, but Donamir breaks the smoke on the Pudge. There is going to be the Dust used, and the Bounty Hunter was not hit by it. Rubik blinks forward, puts Pudge back. Gonna get hit by the, the missile. Slark's gonna get Fiend script, gonna get cancelled, McMortar trying to get away. Doesn't. That's two down. The Wind Ranger gets away to the north. Pudge gets a hook onto the Rubik. Rubik also has the hook now. And Rubik's gonna hook him up with that and steal the kill. Usually ends up happening that Rubik's a better hooker than the Pudge. Ursa a little bit caught out here. Leap is gonna miss and Ursa's allowed to blink away. And Gigi's gonna get called by this the uh, German rejects. So Kuzit on their way to uh I don't know they're on to the next round at least you know. I think about what I tried to get an interview. If I can, I'm not really. I'm not really seeing anything. Let's see if I can do this. Wow, he has 1.7 hours of Dota. 
cool. I'm not gonna interview them. That would be lame. All right, so Kuza take this match, and we'll just head right over to that one, the next one, rather. Thanks for watching. I've been Pythian, and we're just gonna continue to keep on casting some of the matches from the Open Qualifier Americas version of the Shanghai Major. Thanks for watching, and it all as always, cheers.